yeah, we get started just after the opening cutscene. Okay, that's all good. Okay, just wanted to check to make sure that worked. It seems like it's not giving me any more issues, so hopefully whatever that was is just a fluke or something. but I'd like to remind him when watching this is that you can't skip these cutscenes, as far as I know. I've tried everything. Maybe it's different on other consoles or whatever, but... But for the time being, you just can't skip them. Also, as you'll see, the splits are kind of interesting since you'll have to include all the cutscenes in between sections when you're actually able to play the game. since it won't be lagging as much since I'm using the, doing the live stream instead. They'll shave a lot of time just by that. Shoot, fuck that up. Oh well. If you can get that early, that saves a lot of time. Otherwise you can just force to do this cutscene and then just wait here for a second. Perfect. I actually found out um, that picking this individual level from the book at the end actually includes this cutscene as well, so that's slightly annoying. Like, in the main game, it's unavoidable, but in the book, you should avoid most of these. Except for this one, apparently. I'll keep that in mind for some other ones.
Try to predict where your cursor is going to end up. You can kind of let it go off screen accidentally, which kind of screws you over. Oh, come on. <laughs> that menu always is kind of annoying. At least in these kind of sections, you can always see where your cursor is, so you can plan out your next move. So you don't have to worry about missing anything. And for something like console, you can actually just move Bolt Boy around by yourself. That really changes how the game works. But for this, you're basically just relying on him moving quickly. And relying that the grabbing options will always work. Which a lot of times they don't. like that, I kind of forgot that you have to go off, and well I knew you had to go off of the armor, but then since the cursor was way lower than it should have been, I couldn't have hit it in time. Right, that's right, I forgot to include this next part. This part's really just short. because it does take like a minute to do regardless but so inconsequential that I just don't include it in the splits Still out of practice, I'm sure there's going to be parts I forget how to do in this game. It's actually a glitch where you can end up not grabbing the basket if you click too fast. Aww. That was a little slow.
<laughs> no, I was worried for a second there. I thought I didn't end up didn't end up picking it up. I think the memory has a lot of parts where you can actually get back to moving really quickly, which is kind of surprising. Like a lot of the other ones don't have something like that. Okay, RNG. Here we go. Come on. Okay, good. That section can definitely be done faster. It does say I've had some frame drops, but hopefully that won't carry over to the VOD, because that's really what the important thing. I mean, still feel bad about it, but... I might as well just keep going since I've already started. If you try to go too early, he will kill you, so kind of got to wait until he's just about past you to keep going. Then you got plenty of time to do the rest of this if you're quick. Another big thing to remember is like which sections of like um point of view that you go through that let you leave as soon as you're done, because you don't have to worry about going back out. But sometimes it just ignores your presses so you can't grab something, which is always annoying. Now, if I was poop percent, this is where I'd stop. Not doing that right now. I'd rather get a better time on the main game. For poop percent, you just mess around until you die of like um, farting. It's kind of dumb, but it's just kind of a fun one to do.
You want to back out of those sections so she doesn't scream at you again. Which also wastes a lot of time. I mean, it's meant to be a jump scare, but it's more just like an yeah. inconvenience. Like, cutscenes like these are unavoidable. Like, you can't skip these, as far as I know. Like I said, don't let somebody else finds out the way that you just have to watch them. You know, this is where I definitely will have a time save that I finally know how to do this part, like, properly. I'm getting frame drops from time to time, but... <laughs> As far as I can tell, I'm not getting too many differences on my um, phone here, so who knows what's up with that. One, two, and three, and P. Oh, okay, so it does a really long time then. That should spawn four radishes here, because you need four to give to the frog. Oh, never mind, just did three. I guess I have to take one more. So I thought you started out with one. Which is what you, you have to give like four to this guy. Okay, maybe I'll have to do um, four next time, just to make sure. Or maybe there's only a max of three. Well, in any case, it's, it's a lot faster than what I was doing before. They're all in good spots, so that's perfect. There's another kind of RNG element in here, because if they spawn like really close to the dog, then you won't be able to... Um, they'll fly away, and then they'll waste a lot of time. That's like 30, 30 seconds of saved time there, just for not doing all that extra stuff. Now we kind of get to the harder parts of the game, where it's easier to mess up. Like, if I die here, then I'm resetting, because that's... Because nearer to the end is where you'd rather reset. Oh, well. Kind of in the ending is where you'd rather just keep going and just finish it at that point. Especially with time saves is good, it might not even matter. Oops, shucks. Okay, that's a little bit lost, but...
There's not really any puzzles here, this is mostly just motion based. So all you have to do is just basically not die at this point. Like this kind of upcoming part here is what I sometimes have trouble with. Since it's kind of hard to tell how close you need to be to the worm to make sure you don't die from it. And to make sure that that actually kills it. So that's good. That's kind of the harder part of this. And now all you have to do now is just swim. That's it. There's no puzzles. Just avoid all the worms. Because if you if they spot you, they'll chase you to like the ends of the earth almost, unless you go to a different area. Like over here, the, the ones that are on me right now will stop chasing me. But beyond here, then they'll all come after you. I think you like save right here, so if I do mess up, maybe I will continue it. Because there is like a bottleneck up here, that's annoying. Okay, there we go. Perfect. You just gotta make sure you don't die here. Okay, there we go, perfect. Get the snail, then drop the keg. Oh no, the, there's a worm spawn between the eel and the first and the snail. I'm trying to remember like the route I did that I found was much better for this. Since it turns out you don't need to keep feeding him wine to make sure he doesn't attack you. Because he'll spawn worms periodically, which you have to go down here to kill. And if you give him wine, he won't, so then you just gotta take care of one spawn, and then after that you're basically free to do whatever, as long as you give him wine. Come on. It shouldn't matter how close they are, but I'd rather make sure that they all die, because you really don't want to die here. So you can go between here to get the snail without him spawning more stuff. And then between, like, um... Eh? You getting the mine and kicking it up here, you just give him another one just to make sure he stays drunk. Because you have to fry this snail, give it to the fish, and then he'll drop the mine. Because he only stays drunk for a certain amount of, ac amount of actions. Like right here, I'll stop being drunk. So you gotta quickly run up and make sure he doesn't spawn any more worms. Shoot, misclicked. That always happens on this one. 
There's plenty of little altercations I can make to be do better at this, but. After that, the fight's almost over. Needs you can actually skip his little laughing animation there if you're quick enough. After this one, they'll all chase you no matter what, so you're basically free to just sit here for a little bit to make sure they all come in. A little laggy there, that sucks. Unless I can stop it myself personally, but. Oh well. At least it's not as laggy as last time. So this is an interesting part because you can actually make it so he doesn't fall asleep at all. You'll see in a bit if he does it. Yeah, he does that. And that's actually kind of random. If you have anything grabbed, you won't lose it, but... It's a time loss nonetheless. See there, he almost didn't do it at all. Right until the end. Unfortunately, the cutscene there kind of makes it so you can't jump on the spider right away. So you actually have to wait here for a second until he moves over, which is also kind of random. Get if you have to make him attack you or not. It's not very like um, clear what you can and can't do for this one. Maybe I need to do more experiments with it. Hey, don't talk to the dog. I've had it happen before where I can just make that fall twice without having to stop here. Okay, I can just make an attack. Oh shoot, I forgot. I forgot the faucet. Whoops. 
Oh well. Just the wrong order. Oh sheesh, I didn't even know he would stop there. That just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm still saying I'm having internet issues for some reason. It's dropping a ton of frames, but that's fine, I'm just gonna tough it out. Even if so, you know, if that keeps happening, then I'm just gonna end the stream after I'm done with this. Oh, shit. Thought I was still holding that. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I'm getting stuff. Yeah, I have no idea what the issue is in my stream right now, but it's probably just because a lot of people are using the Wi-Fi. That's why I tend to stream at night. Like later in the day when people aren't around. Like hopefully this doesn't affect the VOD that much, but who knows. It might. Maybe at this point, if I make a mistake, I'm not going to reset. I might as well just finish it. Or at least attempt to.
Good timing. Bad timing. Okay. I don't even remember how many attacks he does between each phase. I know which ones are the longest ones, but I can't figure out the timing that well. Because this one is the wave. And I. It pushed me forward for some reason. That does not count as a death because I did not do that. That is super weird. Like, at least with the deaths, you can just hopefully exit out and load back in really fast, but that was just random. I did not know where that came from. At this point, any, like, little issues are negligible, but the last section is, like, one of the hardest ones. Which is the one I'm gonna die a lot on, probably. I suppose the sooner you make him perform his attacks, the faster, but either way works. Okay, this is the weird one. And then you just run out of here because the rest won't fall. That's new, I've never had that happen before. Okay, 
you. That was just bad luck there, honestly. Like, he starts vomiting really quickly, but you're usually able to get to that little section there before anything bad happens, but apparently I wasn't fast enough. Oh well. Like I said, at this point it really doesn't matter. Except for maybe this section. Because the teeth of this part have a really weird pattern. Now for the final section of teeth, which I am going to wait a little bit on because I because they're incredibly annoying to deal with. And after that, it's pretty much smooth sailing. So those two. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I got that wrong. I thought it was going to be the other one first. So that's my bad. I don't know why I always forget that. Alright, let it go once. I could have gone there, but... Because this first one's always going to go down. So it's not this one. Then it's this one. You gotta watch out for that one specifically, because it might go down early. Oh, there I go again. I could've... Yeah, see, that's why. I always at least die a few times here, because it's just so annoying to memorize it all. That's my problem. This is a really irregular order. Okay, and go. There we go. Like, this part always happens near the end, so it's kind of hard to make sure you memorize it, but you still got plenty of time to finish this. It's not a good shave off, but it's a really good timing overall. play it safe, even though you don't really have to do it at the first part, but... This part's more RNG. If I can just memorize the ending there, and not have any slip-ups in this in the issue in. God, that was close. That almost could have gone bad. Because if you die, like, it hit once here, the, the uh, boss is over. And he gets really unpredictable.
and there's only just one. Like, the prologue is the last part here. Technically, the main game ends after the boss fight, but I still kind of include the prologue. Since it's technically, you can still get a game over at that point. Well, not a complete game over, but you know the deal. And that's time. So it's just a minute shit off overall for like the full PB, but that's gonna be a new record for that.